busy holding the uh, European Stone Festival. It's the first time that it's been in Lincoln and it's uh, 10 years since it's actually been in the UK so it's quite unique just for, uh, not just for Lincoln but for the UK. The whole aim of the European Stone Festival is, is for the Masons sort of to, to uh, train together to sort of meet up, share skills and things and what they're looking for is they just would like the organisers to put on this event for them and we've been really really lucky with all the sponsorship that we've had from local people, from businesses and the Worshipful Company of Masons have been very supportive. So the challenge for us is actually raising the funds to support that uh, and also the marquees and everything else. The, the whole event is about really enjoying the day, enjoying the two days, showcasing what we do, so, and that involves obviously talking a lot to the public and things like that. But, and at the end of the day, we'll all produce something, no matter what standard it is or how, how it's finished and stuff. So there'll be a variety, variety of things for people to afford to buy, to help pay for the whole event. So, fantastic. Most of the people come from Europe, uh, sort of ma mainland Europe, uh, Germany, France, um, Norway, Netherlands, and we've had some people from Cyprus, uh, and the United States, and of course a lot of people from the UK. I saw it in a Dutch magazine about natural stone, and I sent an email, it was too late, uh, it was closed, and within 10 days I became an email back, I was also welcome. So, then I had to think, well, will I do it? I said, yes, I want to do it once in my lifetime. It's, uh, that's the reason I'm here. We've had lots of people register for, for the event. And of course, we've just got different skill trades, different levels of skill, uh, master masons, sculptors, carvers, and apprentices and trainees. So there's a really good cross mix. So there's going to be lots of different pieces come out at the end of the day. There's 140 turned up from all over Europe and the world. Um, the feeling here now is, if you can imagine, a sort of, you, You've come through a time warp. The public here actually experiencing, you know, that sound, the noise that would have been generated by all the masons working on the cathedral. So it's, it's like a sort of time link. It's fantastic, brilliant. The themes, food and farming. There's loads of imagination and stuff going on. It's fantastic. Big variety of stuff. It's always difficult for me to get an idea. And I wanted to make a link between the stone masonry and the, the, the religion, the cathedral. So I came at the Gospel of Matthew, uh, Jesus the, feeding the 5,000 with two fishes and five loaves of bread. And that's what I'm making today. And, uh, and tomorrow I have to finish it. And I'll hope, hopefully it will be sold tomorrow afternoon. Not only have we had the, the Masons marquee, but we've also had the Works Department marquee, which is showcasing all of the crafts that we have uh, in our own Works Department. And we've had a have-a-go area as well, so it was important, we felt, to give the children the opportunity to sort of pick up the chisels, actually feel, feel the material and get involved. And I know adults and children alike have found that really popular. I'm Robin Dennett from Dennett's Ice Cream and we've been in business since 1926 and I'm the third generation of running the business. I'm Lincolnshire through and through and I wanted to support it as best I can. You know, it's the second time it's been in this country, 10 years ago since it was down there and so I wanted to be part of it. So that's what we did. She rang me up and said, is there anything you can do? And I said, yeah. We came up with the lime with the white chocolate chips and that's, you know, the lime to go with the stone that they're working with and the white chocolate chips just to add a bit more to it. 
nobody's given me any back anyway, shall I put it that way? And there's a lot of them in their second and third one if you go wander around now. So yeah, we've had fantastic response from them. Off we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we start off with lap number one at 280, 300 pounds, and 20, 320, 340. Biggest in front of me at 1,000 pounds. Once, twice, third, and the final time of asking. What a wonderful start. Thank you so much. Well, the first item is sold for over a thousand pounds. A lot of money on Sunday afternoon to spend, <laughs> I guess. But it's also for the benefit for the church, for the, for the, for the cathedral, so. Oh, satisfied, yes. So, yeah, feels good. <laughs> At 520 pounds, I sell Michael Arlington. Thank you very much. 1600 at 1600 pounds at 1600 pounds and 20 sir 1700 pounds are you sure sir are you giving way to this man at 17 1800 1800 pounds 1800 pounds 2200 it's getting serious now 2200 300 2,350, 2,600 pounds once, 2,600 pounds twice, the third and last time I'm asking at 2,600 pounds. Are you sure? 2,7? Are you sure? Fantastic. I think an event like this really brings the whole community together. It, it it's really is for everybody. And I think it's important for the cathedral. You know, we are that the cathedral is, is the mother church of the county and you know it's important that we we showcase the cathedral and that it is sort of open for all. We'd just like to say thank you on behalf of all us Masons at Lincoln for all of you coming and fantastic weekend it's been because you've made it all. If we can just give a big round of applause for yourself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Cathedral, thank you for coming and being here. It's a great privilege for us at Lincoln to welcome you from all over different parts of Europe and indeed America and Anywhere else? No? Anyway, thank you for coming. It's been a great day. And you have shown us the speed at which Masons can work. Thank you and congratulations.